Dogs are the most effective method of detecting an early infestation. And now there is one such dog right here in western Pennsylvania. He is a little Jack Russell Terrier named Jumpin' Jack Flash. You want to go to work? All right, good boy. Greta McIntyre loves working dogs. In 2001, she and her husband used her border collies to start a Canada goose control business. It's, we've been so successful on our sites that the goose population has dropped tremendously. Looking for another working dog enterprise, Greta discovered the art of canine bed bug detection, and this Jack Russell. You have to be a little on the obsessive side, <laughs> which he is, trust me, and he just, that's all he wants to do. He wants to find bugs, that's it. <laughs> That's his life. <laughs> Jack spent five months being trained in Florida at the J&K Canine Academy, experts in all kinds of scent detection dogs. Greta got 80 hours of training in bed bugs and how to work with Jack. They are now both certified by the National Entomological Scent Detection Canine Association. Um, I just checked um, some students who came back from spring break in Florida, and one of them had bed bug bites. Um, so you checked the house? Uh, I checked their suitcases, and I'm going to be checking a sorority house this week. This day, we're at the house of fellow dog trainer Marge Sarver. Greta has planted vials of bed bugs she uses to train Jack every day. And she's assured you that they're in containers and they can't get out. Are you a little nervous? If I find a bug, she's dead. Find your bees. Then bingo, bed bugs. Good boy. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Good boy. Very nice. But then we surprise Marge by asking to check her bedroom, where no vials have been planted. Find your bees. <laughs> no bugs in your bed. You were sure you didn't have bed I, bugs. I was, I was hoping I didn't have bed bugs. <laughs> Greta's business is located at the sheep farm she owns with her husband in Avella, Washington County. And Jack is the only certified bed bug dog in the entire region. He visits schools, hotels, and dormitories that cost $250 to start. Now, dogs are most effective in pinpointing exactly where the problem is. Then Greta says eradication should be done by a professional because they're really very difficult to get rid of. Okay, yeah. Sally, once Jack has found the bed bugs, how do you get rid of these things? They say heat is the best way and the greenest way. Uh, that's why the dogs are really also a green solution because then you don't just blanket your entire house or dor dorm with pesticides. Mm -hmm. You right. pinpoint exactly where you need to do it. And by the way, bed bugs don't transmit diseases. They're just annoying and creepy. Very creepy. <laughs> Extremely. <laughs> Sally, thank you very much. You're welcome.